Hello, everybody. I'm Jeffrey the Tin Man Taylor, Blue and Black Harlequin today. <laughs> because, as you guys recall, my short I just made about what I was going to react to from the Tele Anime channel. Well, I wanted to wear this for this video. So, the video that I'll be reacting to from his channel is Top 10 Horror Clowns, The Evolution of Horror Clowns Animated. So, I can't wait to watch this video. I think the only horror clown I know that I like is Pennywise, but there's also Art the Clown and Killjoy and so many others out there, so I can't wait to see this rundown. So I'm going to turn the lights off, move the camera off here for you guys, and let's get this reaction on the road in the bag. Alrighty, here we go. Clowns are often scary, but which on-screen buffoons have us avoiding the circus? Let's send in the top ten clowns animated. Twisting 10th place is American Horror Stories Twisty. He wears a white outfit with red accents, matching makeup, round nose, and pointy hat. After he's wrongfully ousted by his circus, his outfit loses his cleanliness. He fashions a brand new hairstyle, and to cover up a disfigurement, he wears a perma-smile mask. I know about him. Um, my dad used to watch uh, American Horror Story on Netflix, and he popped up, and I said, yeah, he is creepy. And his hat almost looks like he uh, scalped another clown's head off. He captures kids to entertain them, but a summoned ghoul takes Twisty's life to join his ghostly side. Booking in ninth is Hell House LLC's clown mannequin. He has a split polka dot and striped jumper, oversized shoes, and a ghastly mask with blood dripped eyes. He's often backed up by supporting clown mannequins, but... I don't think I've seen this movie. Never thought I would hear about a movie where mannequins and clown costumes would come to life. And their faces just look creepy. If I saw these guys, I'd be running. When the lead clown makes any sudden movement, something always goes down. Praying for eighth is Blood Harbit's Marvelous Mervo. After Merv's parents pass and their cattle put down, he takes up clowning wearing a baby blue suit with a colorful circular pattern and a red tie. This clown is strangely religious and loves to sing his heart out. While I ain't gonna lie, this clown's got a cool get up. This film's body count rises. If Mervo or his clearly deranged brother is the culprit, well, we'll let you decide. You mean to tell me that you just don't know who the killer is? Be either his brother or him? In this movie, that'd be like hard to figure out who killed who. Letting us into seventh is Haunt's Clown Worker. His green overalls are adorned with dark cuffs and pom-poms. His hair is bleached and shaved, and he wears a plastic mask with red hair and a curved unibrow. Yeah, I've seen uh, Trick or Treat Studios is making those clown masks from that movie Haunt. I haven't seen the movie, but uh, it does look uh, cool. Underneath the mask, he's modified his own face to resemble a clown. Unfortunately oh. for haunted attraction fans, he takes his work a little too seriously. In door number six is Are You Afraid of the Dark Zebo? He wears a purple, yellow, and green ensemble adorned in polka dots. He has bushy hair with a tiny green hat and loves smoking his cigar. After stealing his circus's payroll, this clown accidentally burns alive. Although his likeness is resurrected as a smiling carnival attraction with glowing eyes. His spirit inhabits his dummy and haunts those who wrong him. Okay, uh... I don't think I've seen this movie at all, so it would be probably something I would be interested in watching. A ghost clown and having in a dummy of his likeness. Now, that is creepy. I mean, imagine you come back from the dead and then uh, you look like this. Breaking into fifth is Stitches. This burnt out birthday clown sports a yellow dress shirt, flat suit, large blue shoes with mismatched socks, a cheap bald cap, and lazy makeup. He also has an egg that copyrights his image. After being mortally injured on the job, ten years later, a zombified Stitches rises to finish the party. But when his clown egg breaks, he vanquishes along with it. Are you kidding me? That's all it takes to defeat him is squishing his uh, clown 
Linus on the egg, and then boom, he's dead. I ain't gonna lie, uh, I like his costume too when he's all zombified out. Kind of reminds me of like a hobo tramp clown costume. But yeah, I don't know if I'll watch this movie or not, but I, sounds interesting, no. It's he vanquishes along with it. In fourth is Spawn's Violator. This stumpy demon dresses in a typical clown costume, but mostly wears a leather jacket with flaming arms, striped brown pants, and a lock necklace. He has blue faced makeup and wispy gray hair. <laughs> oh, I was not scared of this guy growing up watching the Spawn movie, but I just thought he was a joke character. Like, I can't believe that Satan would actually have him working for him because if he messes up I'll be punishing him badly like fire him basically he can transform into other looks although his true form is actually a giant creature with glowing red eyes he's tasked by the ruler of hell to make sure an apocalypse on earth goes as planned possessing third is clown to amuse his son on his birthday Kent wears an ancient beige clown getup that has a scaly texture shoulder tassels and a white neck piece I love this movie. Uh, after watching, I was like, oh my God, I'll be scared to death if I put on a clown costume and that happens. It ends up becoming your skin. Paired with simple makeup and a rainbow wig, this suit slowly morphs Kent into a demon clown with a hunger to feast on five kids in order to release the demon. Though, after trying to eat his own son, his wife severs his hunger. Yeah, when you look right here, when he bleeds, he bleeds out a rainbow. I said that demon really took over his uh, body, like inside and out. Like you try to shoot him, the bullets don't do nothing, and he tried to, well, I don't want to spoil the film if anybody hasn't seen it, but uh, tries to self-delete himself with like a table saw, and that didn't work. I hate that she had to sacrifice her husband like that too, <laughs> and that was the only way to like, get the suit off of him. It's Captain Spaulding from the Firefly Trilogy. He sports star-spangled clown attire with floppy shoes, a pink left hat leg, and rosy cheek makeup. He also wears a polka dot blue outfit with a larger hat to show off his roadside attraction that comes with complimentary fried chicken. This criminal clown has a deranged family with whom he commits various atrocities. And slicing first place is Art the Clown. He has witchy features and mime-like makeup. He wears a hood with a small hat and a half black and white jumpsuit. Now, how in the world did this guy jump up to number one? I mean, don't get me wrong, he is a cool character that they came up with, but I would think Pennywise would be number one because he's out of this world, not an actual human. Okay, now you're stumping me. The early version of the character is shorter, has a reverse color scheme suit, less defined features, and at times he has an eerie glowing eyed face. This silent slasher carries a garbage bag of goodies, uses firearms, and sometimes works with a young partner. He's also a huge fan of the Christmas season. Which, uh, I have not seen Terrifier 2 or 3 yet by the time I'm recording this. So... I know that he had a uh, killer clown girl with him in Terrifier 2. I don't know if she's going to be in this one or not, but yeah, that's kind of crazy. Uh, a clown wearing a, a Santa Claus costume. I mean, that, that would make kids terrify of Santa and clowns for a long time. But I'm glad they're doing a Christmas movie with him. Scariest of all, despite multiple defeats, this demonic clown is always ready for a sequel. But this is secretly a top 13 because Poltergeist Clown Doll, the Killer Clowns, and Pennywise deserve high. There you go. I was about to say, he did not add these guys, or these Pennywise, or the Killer Clowns, or the Poltergeist one in there, L. My spots too, and you can see their animations right here. I'm glad he had some other clowns that deserve to be up at the top. Because I was think I was like, wait a minute, Pennywise ain't showing up in this video or killer clowns from outer space. But I do like uh, the ones he picked out right here. I know there's many more of them out there, 
like Killjoy he did not mention and uh, I mean I don't know what the Joker <laughs> he's technically a clown uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video don't forget to like subscribe turn on those post notifications and let me know down in the comments which one of these clown characters that he mentioned is your favorite Mine's still good if you pay wise. This has been another successful installment of the Tin Man's Corner channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor. I say that's a wrap, and have a nice day.